is crazy, and I think we need to stick together. We need to stay on guard. We need to stay alerted. And we got to keep it. You got to stay in survival mode. You said, because the way shit is now, it seems like the world about to end. But if the world do end, the fuck you gonna do, you know? You got to stay. You got you to gotta be able to maintain regardless. You got to be able to survive out here. And that's it. To be honest with you, bro, I've been affected before this shit even a hit. You know, um, I got demons that I'm facing that my motherfucking self and shit. You know, that I'm trying to shake off every goddamn day. You know, so this shit ain't really affecting me. I mean, I lost a homeboy, he got shot and killed. But uh, other than other than that, it's not. It hasn't really affected me. I still been trying. I still move. I still I walk out every day. I do what I need to do. You feel me? Stay out the way. Try to stay out of trouble. Everything, you know, but uh, I know it's affected a lot of people. Just because it hasn't affected me, I'm sure it hasn't, it's affected a lot of other people. And um, we gotta pray, and we gotta stay prayed up, and we gotta stay out the way, and we gotta stay safe, and we gotta be very careful out here in these times. Because shit is crazy, and shit is getting wicked. I feel like. Right now, in this time of need, we need some togetherness. If we could all come together, you know, stay with your loved ones, stay with your peoples, you know. And, and, and I feel like that's the best thing we could do right now, is just stay out the way, stay alerted, stay on guard, you know, stay out the way, love your family. And uh, that's the best thing I can say. My best advice for somebody, especially if they down, is to keep your head up, keep the hope. I know that sounds cliche, I know you've heard that shit before. But it's like, don't ever let no motherfucker discourage you. Don't let no bougie ass bitch discourage you. Don't let no uppity ass, fuck ass motherfucker discourage you. Don't let no motherfucker discourage you. I don't give a fuck with the lowest point of your motherfucking life. You gotta believe in you. Fuck everybody else. You gotta get your, you gotta get out of that motherfucking situation. Only you can get your, get your way out of the hole that you in. You feel me? So, Fuck everybody else. Do what the fuck you need to do. Stick your chest out and handle that shit. And you gotta be mentally strong out here to motherfucking survive. No, death is more like a celebration of life. But as people, we so fucking selfish in our ways. When a loved one dies, we start crying and shit. But in reality, we need to celebrate that person's life. Because in life, you go through the most experiences in life. You feel me? It's a lot of lessons to learn in life. You go through a lot of experiences and so you can become a better person. Or sometimes in life, you can become, you can be a good person, you go through some shit, you can end up being the worst motherfucker ever because of what you went through. So in life, it's all about experiences. You feel me? Death, that shit is like a celebration. We just look at it as a bad thing. <laughs>